Today I'm gonna show you how to make a very, very simple recipe, raw vegan blueberry banana bread granola. It does require a dehydrator. If you do not have one and you'd like to do this in the oven, I will leave instructions below the video so you can do it at home. You will need one ripe banana that is definitely necessary for this recipe, it being banana bread, and it being what kind of pulls the granola or the oats all together and gives you that clumpy granola-like texture. And I'm just gonna start by putting my banana into the bowl. And one thing that I do is, whether it's a smoothie or a recipe, any recipe that uses a banana, I'm gonna just scrape the inside a little bit with my fork because there's a lot of valuable nutrients in the inside of a skin of a banana peel. And it typically doesn't come out when we take the banana out. So I'm just gonna put that little extra bit in. I'm gonna mash the banana up with my fork a few times before I add my sweetener, which is gonna be my maple syrup. Pretty easy. I'm using maple syrup for this recipe, and it's just going to be two to four tablespoons. If you like sweet, I would go all the way up to a fourth cup. I'm gonna do just two tablespoons this time, trying it out. I like my recipes to be a little bit on the not so sweet side. I'll be using lots of fresh berries when I eat this granola and that'll add some more sweetness. And I'm again just gonna mash up the banana with the maple syrup. And then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of a vegan milk. I'm just finishing up some rice milk. It's, it's not the milk that I would recommend. I would recommend you do almond. But with these recipes where you're using just a little bit of milk, it doesn't really matter what kind. I would just use whatever you have in your fridge. It's not where the flavor is coming from. Get all the banana clumps out of there. All right, now to get the banana bread taste. Personally, I always have cinnamon in my banana bread. I love the way cinnamon smells, tastes. And in this recipe, I'm gonna use a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I'm going to use a half teaspoon of vanilla powder. You could definitely use vanilla extract if that's what you have. I did not have any vanilla extract. I used it all yesterday, so I'm gonna use vanilla powder. And then we want just a little bit of salt. I'm gonna do a fourth teaspoon. To give it some extra texture and flavor, I'm gonna use shredded coconut, dried blueberries, and I'm gonna use some sprouted pumpkin seeds. You could use sliced almonds as well. This is what I have today. Just gonna stir up the cinnamon and the vanilla and the salt in the banana mixture. The milk is to give it a more of a liquid consistency, so when I add the rolled oats, which are dry, then the mixture will easily spread onto the oats. And I'm gonna dehydrate it all anyway, so it doesn't matter really how much liquid you use. This recipe, uses three cups of oats. And everything is gonna stay the same if you're gonna do this in the oven, except you would also add some coconut oil so it doesn't burn. And if you're doing it in your oven, I've provided the amount of oil you would use in the description. I've added the oats. I'm gonna do a half cup of dried blueberries one half cup of shredded coconut. Now just stir it all up until you get the banana mixture coated all over. And you'll be able to tell, it's gonna to start to clump up. Just stir around the edges, go underneath the bottom. Take one Teflex dehydrator sheet and then spread the granola on top. You're gonna get a mound in the middle and I'm just gonna spread it out evenly to the corners of the dehydrator sheet. Super easy, just spread it out just like that. I have a whole sheet now covered. I'm gonna dehydrate this for about eight hours in my dehydrator at 105 degrees. The granola is done. It is now dry completely. I have these clusters and it's completely raw 
And now I can add this to a bowl with some vegan milk. What I really love to do for a healthy dessert is make raw banana ice cream. Usually it's just a two frozen bananas, some frozen mango, and then I'll blend that up and then I add the granola on top. I've also made some really amazing chocolate no-bake cookies and I use this granola as the base. If you wanna know that recipe, just comment below. I'm just gonna take my granola, grab it by the sheet, and dump it all in there. And now I have a bunch of raw granola that I can eat whenever I want. Super, super simple recipe. Mash banana up, add your flavorings, tweak it to the way that you want. If you like more cinnamon or more vanilla, you could even add a dash of nutmeg. And then your add-ins would be the coconut, the nuts, the dried fruit. Customize it, make it your own. Raw vegan, blueberry, banana bread, granola. If you like this recipe, please let me know somehow. Thumbs up or comment. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.